Hi, thank you so much for joining me. Um, in my previous videos, I have uh, worked a number of questions where we went from the element to its electron configurations. In this segment, I want to talk about how we can use the periodic table very quickly to identify the element. Now, we do have to say neutral element. You have to qualify whether if it was an ion, I'd have to say what could be a plus two ion that would have such and such an electron configuration. In this case, we're just looking at neutral elements. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. One way is to simply add up the superscripts because that's how many electrons that that atom has. So <clears throat> 10 plus that, it would be 15 electrons. So what element has 15 electrons when it's neutral would be phosphorus. So you could identify it that way. Or you can simply look at this last configuration. That last configuration tells me N is equal to 3, L is equal to P, and I have three electrons in it. So if I have a P block, N is equal to the period number. So I know that I'm in the third period. This is the S block, this one's the P block. So third period P block go in one, two, three elements and you would get phosphorus. Okay, let's try another one. Again, you can always add up all of the superscripts. I'm not gonna do it with these, but you can add up all the superscripts and that tells you the number of electrons. If it's neutral, my number of electrons is equal to my number of protons. So you could find the, the atomic number. I'm going to simply look at the last I was filling. So this is N equals 4 in the D block. Okay, so remember N was equal to the period number minus one. So my period must be five. Five minus one is four. So I must be in the fifth period here. And if I go into the D block, one, two, three, four, I'm going to have molybdenum. Okay, so that's how you would do that one. Let's look here. This one ends in 6P3. So I'm in the P block, and P block N is equal to the period. So I know that I'm in the P block, N is six, so it's six period. And I go three elements in. One, two, three, I'm at bismuth. Okay, and then one last one. This is 6D5, and so I must be in the seventh period, and notice this gives me radon. So let me erase this a little bit. I have radon, so I know that I am beyond radon. So you could do radon, which is 86, plus 2, plus 14, plus 5. So you could count the electrons that way as well. Or we can say, hey, it's the D block, must be the seventh period, because D is period minus one. One, two, three, four, five <clears throat> elements in. So it should be, if I've done that right, B, H. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how to work backwards from a configuration to an unknown element. Thanks so much for joining me. I always appreciate your time. I hope I helped your learning.